Hello, this is David Manning. This is a quick tip that we extracted from the May Plant3D Community Meetup on licensing and access for Plant3D collaboration with BIM360 Docs. Just touch on it, so you're talking about single user subscriber licenses. So if you're a subscriber and you're trying to use collaboration for Plant, there's a few gates you need to get through, kind of that Swiss cheese effect. And if they don't all line up, it can be a little bit difficult. First one, of course, is needing to use the uh, to get access will be licensed for the Plant 3D application. In the subscriber world, that is done through Autodesk account. And when you launch the project, the, the product will be asked to uh, sign in or, or identify your product, depending on how you've bought it, depends how that works. And Autodesk account will validate that you have the correct license to use Plant 3D, allowing you to, you to do that. It will not actually give you access to the collaboration feature, even though it's installed with the product. When you click on that, it will tell you you may not have um, the access rights. To get access to, to the collaboration feature, you need to also have BIM360 design. When you do that, it will show up in order as an account, and in the subscriber world, it's doing that as well, and it checks that through your profile. That will then give you access to the BIM360 suite of tools that are assigned under design, and there's a few there as well. You can use Desktop Connector to access the, the project and it gives you access to the uh, the dock space as well. But it's worth noting that necessary, Plant3D is accessing a folder inside your BIM360 docs uh, folder structure. So docs is entitled under BIM360 design for the purpose of collaboration. You need to have permissions to see and download the files in that folder. Easiest way to do that is to get in the web browser and make sure you can see the project XML in the folders. If you can't see it, then you certainly can't open it in Plant 3D. Once you've got that, the Swiss cheese all lines up and you should have no problems getting your project to work in a collaboration environment. In the multi-user environment, it is often slightly different, and we're talking about here using server-based licensing. Uh, it uses a network license server to issue licenses to users. And in that case, what we're looking at here, the real difference is this first step where we log into, we, we're on the WAN or the LAN or the VPN for our enterprise. And uh, we when we start our Plant 3D, it's when you first launch it, it gets licensed or it's done part of the deployment to uh, the license server that you're required to access. That gives you the ability to use the application. And then when you then go to try to use the collaboration feature, it's going to want to go out and validate that with Autodesk account. Okay, so there's two separate systems there, the corporate license and the Autodesk account, which is does go back to your corporate license, but it is entitled through your Autodesk profile. Now, you may not have done it to start with, but at this point you'll be asked to sign in. Again, top right-hand corner of the product, you'll see a sign into Autodesk services. And once you've done that, and assuming you've got BIM360 design entitled to you uh, by someone, you can utilize that entitlement to, again, access BIM360 design. And again, finally, if you do, as long as you've got access to the project folder so that Plant3D can find that project XML, then you will have access to your collaboration projects and can work without any problems.